Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Tokobo Bio Watery Sunscreen SPF 50. This product retails for $20. This is another Korean based sunscreen that I'm trying on this channel. I'm beyond excited to try it because I've heard so many great things about their sunscreen. Specifically their sun stick is really blowing up right now, but stick sunscreens are not my favorite to use as a main application. I do love reapplying with stick sunscreens, but I didn't want to try out just to see how a regular sunscreen was from this brand so I will be curious to see how this product performs. This product is vegan, cruelty free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. This product does contain a little bit of fragrance so just be mindful of that before going into purchasing it. The big things I will be looking for with this product since it is a Korean chemical based sunscreen include what finish does this product leave and also does it cause any acne. As for anything else I'll be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I have been using this product for a couple of days and this has to be by far the lightest weight sunscreen that I have tried. I feel like it is the perfect time for me to try out this product because I know a lot of times during the summer when it's very hot outside, a lot of people look for a very lightweight sunscreen. That is exactly what this product is. I expected Korean sunscreens to be extremely lightweight weight but this one is unique because it doesn't really add any moisture or it doesn't really mattify the skin it just feels like it's not even there also the smell the smell is amazing I know it has fragrance in it but it smells like fresh laundry I know people were saying that it smelled just like fresh cotton but I wasn't expecting it to smell this good and I mean it does as you see it gives a very light glow to the skin but it doesn't really add any moisture once it absorbs usually just do the three finger technique with this this has to be one of the most lightest weight sunscreens that I've tried that is all white. I feel like the moisturizing look to my skin right now is mainly because I did apply a moisturizer under this. You are really able to control the level of moisture you get with this product. You can either apply a moisturizer under it and get just a little bit more hydration, or you can apply a light gel cream and just have a very minimal hydration to it. It is so lightweight, but it gives a great finish to the skin. I'm really enjoying this product so far. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. This has to be the most lightweight sunscreen that I have ever tried. What I love about this product is you are really able to control the level of hydration that you get with it. You could either go in with a gel cream and get a lighter weight hydration, or you could go in with a richer moisturizer and get a much more hydrating finish. This product is the definition of a neutral sunscreen. Screen. It was so lightweight. This product I feel like was made for reapplication because the more layers I would put on, I still wouldn't feel this product on my skin. It's unheard of with most sunscreens because they are usually so thick and so hydrating on the skin, which I usually prefer a more hydrating finish. But like I said, since you are able to control the level of hydration that you get with it, I would just go in with a richer cream or a balm beforehand and it would be perfect for me. It didn't clog my pores, it didn't cause acne, and I also just really enjoyed the neutral aspect of it. The reapplication was the best part of this product. Side note, I also love this product as a body sunscreen. I use a lot of my face sunscreens on my body as well because I try so many and I have so many, but this product was amazing not only on the face, but I loved it as a body sunscreen because it delivered a great level of protection protection while being so lightweight. I don't know how they did it, but this product is amazing. I feel like any skin types could use it. It is another Korean based sunscreen that is so nice, but I feel like what separates this product from the other ones is how lightweight this product is. I didn't even feel it on the skin at all, even after reapplication, and it's just an amazing product for a really good price point as well. I understand why this product has gone viral 
Girl, and it's another Korean-based sunscreen that I've absolutely fallen in love with. The only reason I wouldn't recommend this for you is if you are sensitive to fragrance. Otherwise, I feel like any skin type could use this because like I said, you can layer any hydration with it and it will get you the hydration that you are wanting. So bottom line is this product is amazing and I would recommend it if you are not sensitive to fragrance. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.